You need to be using Reaping Guild Boss right now. Let's talk about it. What's good, YouTube? No good, man. Coming to you today with a Reap Guild Boss guide video. So, guys, the pro players are using Reaping Guild Boss and they're getting high, high, high scores. But why are they using it? How can you use it? What's the best way to use it? We're going to talk all that and more. But before we get into any of that, make sure y'all leave a like on the video. As always, subscribe, turn on post notices, all that other good stuff. So, the first thing I do want to note is that this is best suited for support Genu builds. So, you can see it on screen we're rocking things like bloodlust reawakening we are one but the more important thing is we're going all intelligence so definitely if you're doing dps sunji new i can't guarantee that this will increase your score but i want to say if you guys follow this tactics for you guys that are using support sunji new this will help out your score if you're not already using this reap tech now what i also want to note is that the main reason we're using this reap tech is because we're utilizing the moon shadow so again if you don't have the moon shadow equipped the reap tech might not be the best thing for you but i do want to note that before we do get into the run and what i personally find that the best combinations for this reap tech is is going to be vacuum wave and that's from armor break and that's going to be this is grimoire so combo that up again you might not have all that and that's perfectly fine regardless guys you do want to at least be hip to this reap game why are players using reap in the first place well if you're familiar with the word shadow step now i know that you heard shadow step obviously we're talking about what defense what decreases the enemy's defense by 60 percent for 15 seconds each and every time you guys use extreme evasion well reap can actually reset the cooldown of that so this last bullet point activates and resets the cooldown of shadow step upon a successful counter attack so if you guys can utilize reap to the best of your potential in guild boss and with the guild boss being super super easy to predict his ai with his moves super easy to easy to dodge because it's so much aoe you guys can utilize reap to its max potential and you can ensure that the dragon is defense decreased for a majority of the fight i want to say there's a lot of skills in guild boss that you can't extreme evade to get a shadow step but a lot of all the literally all of those skills that you can't extreme evade and get a shadow step from you can reap those skills and you can get a shadow step from that so instantly reap unlocks various more ways that you can have shadow steps debuffs it on the field for your sunji new for your hunters guys now personally i i could show you how to go about it uh, just flat out but i personally want to show you guys a pre-recording of how i basically go about using reap i'm gonna do my best to explain this and before i even explain this let's talk about the moon shadow skill real quick so Lunar Eclipse, right? This is one of the most important debuffs. This is one of the most important reasons people use Moon Shadow. This Lunar Eclipse debuff, if you don't have uh, Moon Shadow on A1, is going to increase damage taken by 10% to your target and then increase the user's dark damage by 10% as well. If you do have it A1, this is 15% on both ends. And you can stack this up to three times. So it's very, very good when you do have a lot of stacks. Now, you guys can get up to two stacks of Lunar Eclipse off the first Shadow Step if you guys are using these strats we're about to talk about. So with these strats, guys, you can have more stacks of Lunar Eclipse earlier and that's exactly what we want so with that in mind let's go ahead and get into the run now what i'm currently doing off bat for guild boss i usually go ahead and use thetis's grimoire I'll, i just want to mention this isn't necessarily a guild boss guide video but i will guide you guys through basically my first rotations but before the dragon does about anything as you can see i'm going to dash forward and then i'm going to activate armor break vacuum wave after that He's going to get debuffed, right? I'm going to dash to get my extreme evade and then instantly go into my moon shadow skill. Now, that is very roundabout and you definitely don't see that often. And you damn sure don't see everybody play out the full animation often. But the point is, guys, when you let this full animation play out, you are going to get that first stack of Lunar Eclipse. Now again, remember, Lunar Eclipse is going to give you a nice, nice amount of damage taken to your target by 15% in that first initial viewing. But here's where it's interesting. If you shadow step after activating your Moon Shadow skill to its fullest potential, you can stack more than one Lunar Eclipse on instantly. So not even 10 seconds have passed, and we have two stacks of lunar eclipse right on and why is that the case because remember guys 
anytime you guys shadow step, it's going to, and I'm trying to, I want to see, yeah, at advancement three. So th this part might only apply to you guys that have moon shadow at advancement three. When shadow step hits, it applies one instance of lunar eclipse per one instance of full moon. So you actually want to shadow step after you guys get the full animation to play out of lunar eclipse. That way, that will allow you guys to get two stacks. And honestly, the Faulkner is going to be pretty much drained on his freaking look at this like 14 seconds have passed and he's already on his fourth rage count he's not even done with his first rate like first animation guys like come on now this is crazy um now let's not get ahead of myself because i didn't even talk about reap yet but yeah guys this is basically how i go about it now when it comes to activating reap again we're just gonna play this back a little bit i got my shadow step boom and you want to always activate that shuttle step as soon as you guys get that animation playing out now how i usually go about using reap i want to say you want to be literally like dead in front of the dragon's mouth i cannot lie if you're anywhere like close to the dragon if you're underneath the dragon's neck you won't get hit sometimes if you're let's say a little bit off to the dragon on the right side on the left side you won't get hit you will be hitting retry a bunch of times and what i'll say is that reap is definitely a strenuous skill to be using but whenever that black and white fades away and when it starts to fade away that's when i activate reap and really the best telltale will be when the dragon is literally pointing at sunjinu so literally look at when i'm activating reap the dragon is literally looking at the boy sunji new so it there's no better time to counter attack guys i want to say i i can show you another way that you kind of want to be going about counter attacking there but yeah guys and of course now here there's just one stack of lunar eclipse but again we're trying to help you guys improve those scores off the first initial viewing now for you guys that rock chai hey gogan he and maylene fisher i've got another tech for you guys hear me out on this one right and this will help you guys with your first cha alt right because i know with uh, initial viewing you can't get three stacks of moon shadow on a cha alt or before cha's first alt is ready so how do we remedy that okay let's go ahead dash activate gogan he's move because gogan he's ultimate again guys i'm trying to cook up as much as you cut as much as i can for you guys but let's talk about gogan he's ultimate for you guys that have gogan he at advancement five you're gonna eat a lot here you want to activate his ultimate before you even do like any dashing any of that because this is going to increase all team members critical hit damage by 30 percent so don't miss out on that extra damage you could be getting for your first cha alt now let's go back real quick again we're gonna activate that and now i'm going to dash while activating my moon shadow skill from there we're gonna activate cha skill now here's where it gets interesting you guys remember what i said wait till the full animation plays out and then shadow step so currently i have uh what's that two stacks of lunar eclipse on and that's just cool and dandy but there it turns into three stacks so that is also nice and lovely you guys do want those three stacks you want that child to hit within those three stacks okay so if you can time that properly this dragon move right here that you're seeing as well you can reap this so this is another reason why i really like reap because there is no way to get a shadow step from this move right here except reap so again this is where the reap tards go crazy and for more theory for more techs and strats i'm using moon shadow right after reaping so that's crazy i don't know if i suggest this all the most because here's the thing with shadow stepping and using moon shadow you want to have that moon shadow skill active for the max amount of time you can so we're talking about the lunar eclipse this is only active for three seconds now what i'll say is after advancement three anytime you guys shadow step you will get that lunar eclipse effect for three seconds now i'm not saying that you should let the full moon shadow skill animation play out and then a shadow step because then you only would have let the moon shadow animation play out for one second of this lunar eclipse stack and then you would have had the shadow step 
play out for like three seconds so that's like four seconds in total so if you want to delay like your shadow steps with your moon shadow that way you can have lunar eclipse more active over time then you can definitely improve your run that way but again guys this video is just talking about reap but we got a lot of guy videos we've got a lot of guild boss live streams on the channel so you can definitely check them out if you want to see how to properly use reap in the field i can include the run at the end of this video as well to help you guys understand how i personally use reap so you can see an uninterrupted run and stuff like that but guys that's going to be it for today's video go ahead and leave your thoughts theories and comments about the skill reap for guild boss don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on post notices and with that i'll see you guys in the next one y'all take care peace